producer Ben, Ooh. please explain what this game is. Hi, I'm producer Ben, full-time producer, full-time editor, but also part-time love doctor. I want to test you guys. I want to test how much you know about each other. Today, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I'm going to direct the questions at a person. Example, Kip, what is Penelope's favorite movie? When I ask this question, Penelope will write down what her favorite movie is, and you'll write down what you think is her favorite movie. And then on the count of three, you will reveal the answers. And if you get it right, you get a point. What if she doesn't know <laughs> her own favorite movie? Well, then that's your problem. So are we you actually going against it. each other? Oh, jeez, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's a competition. Where it gets interesting, because I've added a few all plays. All plays is where I'll ask a question and you both have to write the same answer to both get a point. Mm. So do you think you're ready? Yes. All right, question one. Penelope, what is Kip's weirdest quirk? <laughs> well, I can see out of the corner of my eye is just like... <laughs> I, I'm really struggling to think of what my quirk would be. I can think of one thing. <laughs> He has a lot, so this is hard. Uh, Three, two, one. All right, so Kip, you put rubs knees while eating. Yes, he does. And Liv put when he buys a t-shirt. I, t <laughs> I wear it as soon as he gets home. He gets <laughs> or talks loud. <laughs> I want to. I want to put my hand up and say talks loud is a good one. Because you do rub your knees while you eat. Okay. You sit there and you go. So point to Kip. I do rub my knees while I eat. It's very weird. If anything, you knew each other too well for that question. There was too many. <laughs> so Kip, which one of you is the tidiest? What are you writing? My name only has six letters. It can only be a name, Kip. Sorry, no, wait, wait, wait. My name only has six letters. Which, which one? P-E-N-E-L-O. Penelo. Okay, Penelo. Boom. She put her real name. I put Penelope times infinity. <laughs> nice. That is a point to Kit. Let's go. Wait, what, get, did, what get, did Ben think your quirk was? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> half of them I don't want to say publicly. I respect you too much. But Penelope, who? is the best cook. <sighs> Penelo. I wouldn't know because this one never Penelo wants to cook. Too. And when he's like, I'll make you dinner, he'll make me a pot noodle. That's not <laughs> true. Oh, okay, some bacon. Take away the point. Question four, Kip. Who is most likely to deal with a spider? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I'm shocked. So I cry. She actually cries. Oh, okay. So for anyone that doesn't know, Ben obviously knows this. Yeah. I am 100 million percent petrified of spiders. I, I think it probably came from dad and that like passed down to me that I was scared of spiders. However, right. she hates them just as much, if not more. I have to, you know, deal with the spiders, but I don't like to do it. It scares me. That's brave, man. That's brave. I'd like to say sorry to the occasional spiders that are too hard for me to pick up. So I have to, you're I have to not. vacuum clean them. You're not vacuum cleaning the spiders, are you? The, are they alive? What if it had eggs and then you put it into the vacuum and then you turn it on and all the eggs come out and then we're like in a house full of spiders. Yep. <laughs> of course I'm not doing that, you idiot. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Liv, which Disney character would Kip say he is most like? Kit, which Disney character would you say I'm like? <laughs> I don't know. Fix it, Felix, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you're most Hold like, on. Ben? Oh God, I don't know. You know, in Hercules. Yeah. You know, you know, Hades has the two. Ah, ha, the skinny one. The skinny yeah. one. Wait, how yeah, 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 that's that's so good. <laughs> what would you say I would be? I've got two in my mind. Okay. I would say either Zac Efron in High School Musical mm. or Flynn Rider from Tangled. It's good. It's good. And it's, why did you put Moto? I don't know his name. Modo. Mo. <laughs> it's like the Motorola round. This is also his favorite movie. Tangled is also, which is probably a question that's going to pop up later in the quiz now, so. <laughs> Sauce, ben. <laughs> it's fine. Question six. Kip, what is the thing Penelope most likely to end up in jail for? Oh, his answer is longer than mine. Three, two, one. 
Although <laughs> one thing I will say is that actually is more realistic. I just went for a funny answer. Yeah, why would it? Be, why would it have been bar fight? Because you know, in a previous life, bar street brawler. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven's an all play, and I want you to think about this one. As everyone knows, you were recently married, and it didn't really go to plan. Can save it up. Yeah. That's true. My question for both of you is: there was one wedding guest your partner wants to beat the hell out of, who would it be? Fuck that guy. Question eight. Penelope, what is the one thing that Kip is most likely to go viral for? I already know I have it wrong. Why is your answer so long? Oh, I already went viral for that. Yeah, but I could see you doing it again. That's previous viral. I use this as a plug. Oh, what's, what is that, Kip? I don't... Rage of the week. Thanks, G Fuel. Hashtag ad. Why is your hashtag to the side? I know, I made the mistake when I started. Next one. Kip, what is the first movie that you and Penelope saw together? You should remember this because we ended up... I know. For a long... Yeah. That sounds... That sounded a bit weird there, didn't it? That did. That did. I meant as in we watched a lot of movies after this one. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, I think that counts. Basically, Basically we, we watched Iron Man and then we binged every single Marvel movie in order. Question 10. If Kip could eat one food for the rest of his life, what would it be? One food. One food, like, eat, eat, I'll say meal. Not just one, let's say meal as well. Like I said know. the other day what I could eat for the rest of my life and I can't remember what it is. There's three, three things that he loves. Oh wait, I'm gonna put a fourth one, which is the bonus one. I think I got it wrong. Just because he, he changes his mind weekly. Three, two, one. Oh, fish and chips. How many How many have you got right? Two. And cereal would have been my next one on there, but I was saving that because that's what I would have put for you because I know that's your... If you could only eat one food, it'd be cereal. Oh, God damn it, kid. Was that a question? That was the next question. We're skipping that one. I'd get that right then. Yeah, bonus point, point <laughs> bonus point for me. Penelope, what is Kip's go-to karaoke song? There's three. Okay. So are you willing to put three points up for grab? No. <laughs> these, well, are, these are actually my go-to karaoke songs. These are the three songs okay. that I would sing in karaoke. So bad. Is it insane? Your, yeah, your your answer is offensive. <laughs> Backstreet Boys, bye bye bye. No, it's N Sync, bye bye bye. I didn't listen to either. You should have just put bye bye bye. Well, whatever. I got bye bye bye. All right, we'll give we'll, we'll give her the point. But all right, question thirteen. Bye bye bye. Ow, ow, ow. I'm doing this tonight. You're probably gonna start a fight. I know this can't be right. Hey, baby, come on. I loved you endlessly, but you weren't there for me. So now it's time to leave and make it alone. I know that I can take no more. It ain't no lie. I wanna see you out the door, Very baby. Good. Bye, bye, bye. Very good. All right. Kip, what is Penelope's favorite thing that you wear? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Uno reverse card. Penelope, what's Kip's favorite thing that you wear? I put nothing because that was my actual answer. Oversized <laughs> hoodie is one that I thought was a normal answer. Go you. Go you for being a pervert about your wife. <laughs> Yay. Kip, what is Penelope's biggest fear? Oh, I don't think you've ever said that you, your biggest fear is being abducted. Oh, wow, okay. I've seen you cry when you see a spider, like actually physically in tears. What do I hate more than spiders though? Oh, ticks. Yeah, that would've been a good answer. Man, you really turned this around. Penelope, if Kip was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, who would their phone a friend be? I put two down because there's probably two people that I would call. Ten points to Kip. I put Ben. <laughs> Ten points to both of you. I think you should both get a point for that. Nice. Kip, Penelope wins the lottery. How would they spend it? What would be the first thing they buy? What's the big spend? There we go. Puppies. Puppies house. Yeah, house. Just unlimited point. puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe you could come but, uh... over. Oh, thanks. Penelope, if Kip had a superpower, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. There's... Any superpower in the world. I mean, there's three really good ones that I would choose. Drum roll. Oh, hey, so wow. I... You want them 
want to ever be invisible? No, not really. Yeah. I think being invisible would probably be like a fear. Surely that's two points, right? Yeah, it's two points. I always said that I wanted to be able to teleport. That would be sick. Like Nightcrawler? Exactly like Nightcrawler. I want the smoke to happen as it happens. I'm going to flip it back. Kip, Penelope could have a superpower. What would it be? <laughs> Easy answer. Great. Is it that straightforward? Yeah. I literally said it in the last answer. Oh. Well, I mean... Well, I need the points, so... Let's give him a chance, Penelope. Come on. Uh. Invisibility, flying, and poop on command. That would be very helpful. So I get two points for that, right? Because I got two, flying and invisibility. Penelope, who would win in an eating contest? Three, two, one. She's like a bottomless pit when it comes to eating. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, I get full real quick. Whereas she I'm can just eat and eat and eat. All right, so that was a point to Penelope. It was. Final three. Kip. Okay. If Penelope could tag team with anyone, alive or dead, who would it be? They can still be alive right now, yeah? They could be alive right now, or they could be not with us anymore. Three, two, one. I put Bunny, Ali, her husband Whoa. is also a hunk. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to do another Uno reverse card. Penelope, if Kip could tag team with anyone, alive or dead, who would it be? Oh, wait, no, this is good. Oh, I feel like intense. there's two, but whatever. Three, two, one. Oh, wait, I put the wrong one. Oh. Ah, you went with Chris Sabin, which is also a good answer. Sammy, my boy. <laughs> wait, does that mean that it's a draw at the end as well now? Because if we get it wrong, no one gets a point. If we get it right, then we both is get it a 13, point. 13, 13. Yeah. Well, if we both get a tie, then we Then we, just then know we both each know each other, other or... so well. Yeah. Hey, if you get a tie, then obviously you're perfect for each other. So what is the worst color to have at a wedding? I'm answering because I know this is what you would say. Orange. Because orange is my least favorite color. Oh. She said to me beforehand, anyone wearing white other than the bride is not allowed. Even when she was getting everything ready for the wedding, she made a point of Can telling Can you ask everyone, the question again? Because I think he misunderstood. What is the worst color to have at a wedding? To have at a wedding, not wear. Oh. To have at a wedding. Like, so what do you Jeez. want your decoration? We had that color on our cake. We didn't have poo brown on our cake. <laughs> Who goes into a cake shop and goes, uh, so I'm thinking uh, I, I, I want a buttercream icing and color wise, I'm thinking poo brown. Oh, we draw. I think a draw is a good, a good result. I think yeah, let's go. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's get the, look at all these, look at all these incredible like explosions of confetti and stuff. But yeah, that was it guys. Yay. That's a really red game. Woo. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, producer Ben. It's okay. I had a great time. Guys in chat, thank you for uh, participating and enjoying what Amazing. happened right there. Big Make guys. sure you guys head head over, follow producer Ben over at producer Ben. Is it, it, is it just producer Ben on Twitch? And then on yeah, YouTube, on it's producer yeah. Ben. Producer Ben everywhere. All right, Ben, I love you. I'll speak to you soon. Right, thank you, you for that. Too. Take care, guys. Au revoir, Bye. Ben. Bye. Bye.